All right, beep, let's do this. First thing first, the name is the LUI, okay? Secondly, the game is the game of fitness, but not really. Thirdly, thirdly, the very subject, Palomboism. Palomboism is a terminology that exists actually since more than two decades. I mean, the oldest article about it on the internet is this one right here, June 15, 1996. I had no clue that it was that old. I thought it was invented in forums in the late 2000s. So I was guessing like 2007, 2008, because a lot of forums were discussing about it back then. But apparently it is older. It is more than two decades old. And I do think it is the first case I've ever seen of a female Palomboism, actually. This one here, it basically... Uh, I think it was in uh, uh, Republic, Dominican Republic. It was published by a lady, not by uh, this lady, but uh, a fellow competitor who did not have Palomboism. But uh, it's the first time personally I see this kind of, of uh, I mean, uh, deformation in a sense. I mean, look at the gut. And if you go to Instagram, you have the option to zoom on it and it just looked not right to say it properly. It just that doesn't look uh, right. Nothing flows well actually if you make it bigger you will see all kinds of weirdness right that's what's up i hope she is not uh pregnant so what is palomboism nobody knows actually a lot of speculation i made a lot of videos about trying to speculate look at this troll right here next to this russian uh, giant right there he looks like a case of of palomboism in a troll uh sense right i mean a lot of people, even myself, speculated that even Branch Warren lately might have some case of Palomboism. Now, if you followed Branch Warren, uh, his belly, his muscle belly shrunk, uh, his arm size becomes small. Uh, same goes with every body part, actually, with a clear prominence, actually, and the sense of, of the gut. The gut became just bigger. There is another known uh, picture on the internet. This guy right here it is a true... Uh, picture so you can see that the muscle literally melt in a sense all of them they all melt except uh, the mid section becomes prominent and big and they give it a name of, of uh, Palomboism a lot of cases out there this guy I have absolutely no idea what's his name but clearly you can see that this muscle is not healthy uh, I don't know uh, chemically burnt is it the term we have no idea a lot of people actually try to speculate that it is uh, the famous uh, caution syndrome. You might Google that, caution syndrome, which is pretty much a severe hormonal imbalance that involves everything. Every, uh, basically, hormone in your body is somehow uh, not good. I mean, the, the, the balance of it is somehow uh, messed up, which results in this. Is it true? Is it not? I have no idea. The ex Mr. Olympia, Kevin Engl uh, uh, English, he is uh, the ex Mr. Olympia in the 202 categories, uh, baby, please. Back then it was uh, not the 212, it was the 202, if I'm not mistaken. Some speculated that he, in his last years he had some cases of uh, Palomboism uh, going on. Another unknown guy, I think this picture is from 2009, you can clearly see that. And actually, the term comes from a, an ex-bodybuilder. His name is Dave uh, Palombo. In his late years, basically, uh, he resembled uh, this. He was definitely not in the best shape of his life at the end of, of his uh, uh, career. You can clearly see that. His muscles actually melted, and uh, the prominence of his uh, midsection was absolutely quite visible. Right? Uh, another uh, bodybuilder of all this one was IFBB. Uh, in his case, Dave uh, Palumbo was not an AFBB pro. This guy is King Kamali. Actually, he was up there. This guy was doing battle versus Chris Cormier. As a matter of fact, Chris Cormier published a picture of him this morning. This guy was on. He was definitely better than, what's his name, actually? Uh, Craig, uh, I forgot his name, actually. He, he had a feud with a guy called Craig who was in... In, uh, in prison, actually. Craig Tyrus, sorry. Craig Tyrus. This guy was beating Craig Tyrus. And then Craig Tyrus, well, supposedly he killed a woman and then he is in prison. Uh, another unknown guy. You can clearly see what I'm talking about. So, uh, literally, the muscles do not look healthy. They look uh, 
melted in a sense, deformed, and the bubble gut takes its independence. And even the, the texture of the muscle is not uh, loyal, it's rather uh, oil actually. Uh, may he rest in peace. This was my fellow Canadian, a giant, uh, Craig Kovacs. Some speculated in his latest years, actually, later showings, he had some Palomboys going on. This was actually groomed. I mean, this guy was groomed to be the next Mr. Olympia. I do recall BSN was sponsoring him. Uh, his name is Trey Brewer. Trey Brewer. I remember reading an article about him. The article name was The Barely Legal Freak. The Barely Legal Freak. Because he was 21 at that time. And he looked absolutely stupendous. Specifically in his legs. His legs were absolutely loyal. They tried to groom him with all kind of gurus. I remember him uh, training specifically for the tricep. Uh, to have some sweep. He had some photos with uh, Ronnie Coleman, who was promoted by BSN back then. And then he retired, I think, at 26. Pretty much 26. And some say in his last show when he got a case of, of Palomboism. Clearly, his midsection got bigger. Uh, you know, the legs melted. I mean, wow. At 25, he was looking like this. So, I mean, it, did not, it didn't look good. I mean, it, it looked washed out in a sense. And then he retired at the age of 25 or, or uh, 26. Quite famous picture on uh, actually Google. This gentleman, uh, look at him, and in, uh, in my opinion, he does not look healthy uh, whatsoever. You can see the veins here, not sure if veins or varicoses, haha, <laughs> uh, maybe, uh, please. From uh, the front, this picture is absolutely photoshopped. He looks absolutely amazing, but unfortunately, in real life, he looks more like this. Uh, definitely not aesthetically uh, pleasing if you ask me. Uh, the legs, this is a reality. I mean, if you look like this, you would have been Mr. Olympia, but this is a real a real thing. I mean, these legs are absolutely not loyal. The bubble gut is absolutely not to be properly uh, uh, saluted. And uh, that's it. Some speculate that this is a case of Palomboys. Is it? Is it not? I don't know. The next uh, picture, I loved this guy. Talking about 1996, which was the oldest article about Palomboism, I remember this guy in 1996, Battle of Mr. Olympia. He was a sight to be properly uh, saluted. He was one of the best Europeans in the European Mr. Olympia era, namely in Dorian Yates era. This guy is Roland Zerlock. Roland Zerlock. Really? Yes, it's him. Right now, it, he's in his 50s. Aha. Uh -huh. Uh, baby, please. And some say he has some serious case of plumboism. The triceps literally melted. It looks absolutely uh, deformed. The rest of the body is not loyal as well. Look at him. Absolutely not properly uh, executed. Thing is, he used to be like this. Look at him. Roland Zerlock. Absolutely massive. But I think he's from Germany, uh, if I'm not mistaken, or is it Austria? Anyway, a German-speaking country. I think it's Germany, if I'm not mistaken, right? Absolutely, he was looking proper. Look at him. Right, right now, uh, well, unfortunately, the guys uh, did not stay uh, loyal. And some say, bro, he melted and probably he has some case of Palomboys. This is Phil Heath on Palomboys. So if Phil Heath gets a Palomboys, he will look absolutely uh, <laughs> like this. Uh, this is Mr. Uh, 3D, uh, by the way. Uh, Belize, baby, please, all over the place. Uh, he will melt. He will have a descended uh, stomach bubble gut uh, bonanza, and he will look absolutely not properly saluted. So the name uh, goes after this gentleman right here. He used to be absolutely massive. I think he reached an off-season weight of like 308. He was big, 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 right? Absolutely massive. Uh, some say he deserved to be IFBB Pro, but because of politics, he did not. Uh, acts as the IFBB. That's what uh, the late Nasser Al Sabari uh, said about him. He said, bro, he deserved to be IFBB pro, but uh, he didn't get it. I don't know. I didn't follow his uh, career. Thing is, uh, at the end of his, of his uh, competition years, he didn't look the same. The difference is absolutely staggering. You can see that uh, the muscular development was not that loyal, and his bubblegut bonanza was absolutely. Uh, prominent, undeniably, he had this gut taking his independence 
and the, 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 I mean the, the limbs kind of got shortened and it's not only about the, the front side of the belly but also the oblique they basically spill uh, over definitely looked uh, distinctive in a sense so this is where the name uh, comes uh, from right right now uh, he's no longer uh, that big uh, so I think this is a recent uh, picture of this gentleman named Dave uh, Palombo. Uh, this is Kai Green. Oh, Palombo is, but he will absolutely not be uh, saluted. The peak will not be loyal. It will be absolutely oil, right? This is uh, not a factual picture. This was the only picture available of female Palombo. Is. Of course, it is photoshopped. But until today, we did not have a case of female Palomboids as far as I know. So this is what it would have uh, looked like in a sense. But that's what's up until today. I think this will be the only female having the so-called Palomboids. That's what's up. Salute you wherever you are. Don't forget to like the video and tell me if you guys know another real case of uh, female quote-unquote uh, Palomboids. So to wherever you are, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the LUI for the latest fitness news.